Welcome. Now the turn for our weekly program pick of the week. I'm Anwar Khalil. The representative delegation in Southern Nations, Nationalism and People's Union State have warmly welcomed Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Dr. Abad, in the Ahosa International State, and it was marvelous. Actually, Gabru, at the story. Prime Minister Dr. Rabi Ahmed the stadium. The Premier said the role of Southern Nations, nationalities, and the peoples in nation building is vital. The Southern Nations, nationalities, and the peoples have fought with their Ethiopian brothers in all battlefields for the unity and the sovereignty of Ethiopia. Dr. Rabi remarked that peaceful coexistence and the tolerance of Southern Nations, nationalities, and the peoples is a role model for the country. <laughs> The southern region has revealed that it is possible to form strong unity and solidarity in diversity, which all Ethiopians can get good lessons from it. The Premier expressed readiness of his government to expand infrastructures across the region. <laughs> The region is suffering with the imbalance of available land and the ever-increasing population. So the government would work with its maximum effort to improve the livelihood of citizens, especially users. The Premier thanked Hawasa town residents and its environs for their warm welcome. In the Southern Nations, Nationalities and Peoples of the United States, there are about 56 nations, nationalities and peoples living with harmony. Amazing. The former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Haile Maram de Salen, was given a farewell ceremony at National Palace in Finnish City, where Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed praised his commitment that he resigned and uh, demanded for new leadership. Aklu Gabro again tells us more. Former Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Saling has been given a farewell at the National Palace. Higher level government officials, diplomats, elites and representatives of social organizations have attended the event. On the occasion, Prime Minister Dr. Abiy Ahmed has to say the following about the former Prime Minister. Haile Mariam de Saling has served his country for the last five years with quiet and sense of servant leadership who believe in tolerance and respect. The Premier said Haile Mariam de Saling has uplifted Ethiopian diplomatic relationship during his leadership period. Haile Mariam has expressed the glory of Ethiopia as a global arena representing his country and continent. Former Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Saling has also thanked the nation for their contribution. Haile Mariam called upon the nation to provide constructive ideas for the newly elected Prime Minister. <laughs> Support and advice should come before critic. That's what I would like to recommend you. Haile Mariam appreciated Dr. Abiy Ahmed saying the most dynamic and enthusiastic person. On the farewell ceremony, honorary medal has been offered for the former prime minister by the newly elected prime minister. The ex-prime minister Haile Mariam de Saling was an engineer and was president of Southern Nation and Nationalism and People's United States, was also Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs for Ethiopia and Deputy Prime Minister and later became Prime Minister after the death of the late Prime Minister Mezenawi in the 1980s. And the new Prime Minister is 42. Pan-African University is going to be established in Ethiopia at Adoa Battlefield, where it was on Italian invaders in those days. And a conference this and on ways of constructing a job an African university and held a job there. 
construction of Adwa Pan African University, which has been held in Adwa town of the Tigray Regional State, has been concluded. Issues concerning construction of the university, its administration, and financial sources for its budget, among others, have been discussed. The university said will be constructed at an outlay of 10 billion per. African countries, business organizations, and private organizations' support have been mentioned as sources of the budget for the would be constructed university. Director General of Middle East Affairs with the Ethiopian Foreign Affairs Ministry, Ambassador Mohamed Drir, had to say the following A journey of ambition and dream to establish an African university. Of course, there are many universities in Africa, but a university among the universities which has its own unique quality. They said the university would produce capable future African leaders. The design of the Adwa Pan African University would include symbols that represent African countries and African heroes who have fallen for the freedom of Africa. Chairperson of the Committee for the Construction of Adwa Pan African University, Bito Balai, said construction of the university will be started this year. This year, and next year, we will try to construct and prepare some of the faculties. Member of the committee, Dr. Mulgeta de Bebe, said the university will be organized differently, adding the future African leaders with a winning mentality and vision will be produced from this university. Assistant Professor Ishet Tamasgan is an architect who designed the Adwa Pan African University. The design of this university reflects the ancient African civilization. Every African country gets its culture on the design of this university. That way, they will recognize that this university belongs to them. Both African arts and architectures are reflected in the design. Participants of the conference vote to work for the success of this university. This university is going to be a great center to train new scholars, research, promote Africa, history from its own perspective. African countries need to support this initiative. This is not a Adwa University. This is not Ethiopia University. At the end of the conference, the participants have visited Adwa Mountains where Ethiopians won the Italian invaders, the Aksum Obelisk, and the site where the university will be constructed. Adwa is a battlefield where blacks have ever won the whites in that very serious and civil war where thousands have died and later declared the victory of Ethiopians over Italians and Pride for the blacks in the world of it. Thank you for watching. Have a good time. Till next edition. Bye bye.